Hey gang, welcome back to Pool School. And in this episode, I am gonna teach you how to adjust the pH and alkalinity of your pool. Stay tuned. Since I put out my recent video on testing your pool water, I've had a couple emails regarding adjusting the pH and alkalinity. Remember, when it comes to pH and alkalinity, usually those two things are gonna kinda line up the same. So if your pH is high, your alkalinity is more than likely gonna be high. If your pH is low, your alkalinity also will probably be low. Couple things to remember, okay? When your alkalinity is low or your pH is low, that means your pool is highly acidic. Things can, there's lots of different kinds of acids and things that can affect that. One is acid rain. Yes, it's real. The other thing is uric acid. Yes, that means somebody's peeing in your pool. Or it can just be body oils, highly acidic body oils. Those can all lower the pH and alkalinity of your pool. Remember the basic rule when it comes to pH and alkalinity. If it is high, you want to add acid. If it is low, you want to add either soda ash or bicarbonate of soda. Soda ash is cheaper. It kind of clouds up your water so you have to run your equipment more. Bicarbonate of soda doesn't do that. And from what people have told me, although I have not experienced this myself, other people have told me that bicarbonate of soda raises the alkalinity quicker than soda ash does. But both of those will actually raise the pH and alkalinity. Remember this, the acid you want to use to lower your pH and alkalinity is muriatic acid. And I would suggest that you pick that up at like a Costco or a Walmart or a pool supply company. And remember, these chemicals are dangerous. They can be harmful if they get in your eyes or in your mouth or things like that. So please read and obey all the warnings and cautions and keep them away from children. Also, when you do add your acid, let's say your pH is a bit high, let's say it's running 7.9, 8.0, 8.2, I always recommend adding no more than two quarts of acid muriatic acid again, in your pool at a time. Uh, it's, if you add more than that, it can be a little bit dangerous uh, and you'd have to run your equipment for a while and keep people out of the pool for several hours. If you threw a quart of muriatic acid in your pool, you could pretty much jump in it almost immediately and swim. So, usually don't add more than one to two quarts of muriatic acid at a time to bring your pH and alkalinity down. Then, after a few hours, drop another test strip in there and check your, your pH and see if it's balanced out. Chances are it will have been brought down. This is the type of muriatic acid I use. The reason I use this one by ProSide is because the company that I purchase all my pool supplies from, I get obviously a very big wholesale discount and they service most of the pool service companies in our area. So I get a very good rate on these. Again, you don't have to necessarily get this brand. What I suggest again is do an online search or because it's liquid, you might want to go to a Walmart or a Target or even a Costco or even a local pool supply company and just pick up a couple of these. They come in two gallon boxes and there's a gallon right there. So I'm going to pull this out and my pool really doesn't need any acid right now. But what I would do is if I had my pool needing acid, I would just pull this out. There's a safety cap on here. I take it off. There's a little film on the inside. I got to tear that off. I usually suggest using latex gloves or some kind of protective rubber household cleaning glove to protect your hands. And then once I open it up, I just basically walk along the edge of my pool and I disperse it along the perimeter of the pool. Also, remember, if it splatters, you're gonna get it hitting the ground or it may hit your clothes. It will eat a hole in your clothes, so don't wear something you don't want um, damaged, so wear some work clothes. Or if it gets on your skin, immediately flush it with water. Just take some water from the pool and splash it over your, your ankles or wherever you got splashed in. Again, keep it away from your eyes. It's very dangerous. It can really damage your eyes. And again, if you happen to get some splattered on your pool decking, just take some water and splash it on there and that will help to dilute it without any problem. Now, let's say my pH and alkalinity are low. 
And as I said before, I prefer soda ash because it's more cost effective. So what I do is I have my soda ash in here. And again, you can find that online. Just do a search and you can pick some up. I get it in a 50 pound bag. And what I'm doing is, see how it looks kind of powdery? I put it in an old chlorine tablet container, which I have washed out thoroughly because you don't want to mix the two. And I have a scoop like this. So I'm just going to take my scoop. I'm going to take about a pound of it, just about like that. And this is about a two pound scoop. And then I would do the same thing as I would have done with the acid. I will walk around the perimeter of my pool while my equipment is running and I'll just sprinkle it in the pool. When it does that, it's gonna turn fairly white and cloudy. Now I had to add some soda ash to my pool earlier today and you notice that it's very cloudy. All right, and that's why I'm running the equipment right now. But as I'm doing this, it will help dissipate and disperse all the soda ash. What that soda ash is doing is it is neutralizing the acid in the pool and that will raise my pH back up. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you adjust the pH and alkalinity of your pool. Remember, the type of acid you want to use is muriatic acid for pools and then the type of product you want to use to neutralize the acid is soda ash or bicarbonate of soda. It is always a good idea to run your pool equipment for a couple hours after you put any chemicals in your pool. So that way it helps to disperse the chemicals better in your pool. So I would recommend that you do that every time you add chemicals to your pool, except for chlorine tablets. Okay, here's a quick warning. If you happen to go to a pool supply company, a local pool supply company in a retail center, be very cautious. A lot of times, and I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of times they're going to try and upsell you a bunch of chemicals that you don't need. Again, we'll deal with algae and I'll show you the simple hack that deals with algae because that's one of the biggest scams in the industry. Right now, just get the chemicals you need. If you use chlorine tablets, you're going to need to get a bucket of chlorine tablets. So pick those up, look online for a good price on them. Acid, soda ash, you can get those at a pool supply store. You could also probably find those at a local Walmart or Target, possibly even a Costco. Before I close this episode, remember, if your pH is high, your alkalinity is probably going to be high, and you are going to want to add what? Yes, you're going to want to add acid to bring both of those down. And what kind of acid? Muriatic acid. If your pH is low, and your alkalinity will also be low, you're going to want to add either soda ash or bicarbonate of soda to raise those levels up. Remember, when it comes to the acid, no more than a quart to two quarts at a time. And when it comes to the soda ash, no more than about a pound each time. And then after you've done that and run your equipment for a couple hours, check your chemistry again with your test strip and make sure it's balanced out. And there you have it, folks. That is how you adjust the pH and alkalinity of your pool. Thank you again for watching. Hope it all made sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to put a comment down in the, in the comment section below. Or you can email me directly at kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Again, the address is right here. kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, please like and share this video and this YouTube channel with your friends. Be cool, stay safe, and always watch your kids around water. We'll see you next time.